What's going on, everybody? I am back with Mr. Isaiah Perez. And congrats. You got a uh, top, I want to say at least top four. Hopefully, hopefully. We're, we're hopefully getting top Tie four. Tiebreakers, at least top, guaranteed top eight. Yeah. You got this wonderful play mat <laughs> for Infinite Forbidden here in Kiss Me All Regional. Well, what did you play and what did you finish? Um, I played a, a kind of like a pile deck of like theme cards with like U-Bell, a bigger Unchained package, and, and Feesmith cards. So it worked all together. A lot of good bridges. Like the best card that bridges everything is like it's Arrow Eater. So that bridges the whole entire deck together. So basically, you just played uh, Fiend Link. Yeah, that's what I like to call it. All right, so let's get right in. Oh, wait, before we get into the list, any shout outs? Yeah, first shout out is shout out to God, Team to, to Jesus Strong. Shout out to Pops. Team Jesus Strong, baby. Um, shout out to my family, my mom and dad, for supporting me in this card game. Um, shout out to Chen, uh, Julie, uh, shout out to uh, Steven for telling, for helping me out with a little bit of the deck. And then shout out to Alex the Barber because that man's the pros and richest branded player ever. <laughs> Alright, let's jump right into the list. Alright, so for the standard, for weirdly standard, I played three tour guide and one rhino. This is just better into Mo Charmies inst um, instead of the Dark Beckney Beast package and plays less into Shifter, but the Rhino's just at least this could summon an Unchained Monster. But, and I played the Unchained cards with uh, three Aruha, uh, one Surama, one Clifford Shavara, uh, one Shyama, and one A Bomb. Uh, all these cards come up a lot. There was one scenario that I did want to play Rakea, the blue one, but there was not enough space to play. Um, and then this comes up a lot in the grind game and just and just to break boards for free. And then I play three of the Rota. This card is just insane. I search anything I want for the for the Anchi cards. And I play two and two. Um, these cards are just insane. They add more follow-up, they add more uh, board breaking into your deck. And as well you gotta have like if you open these two together, you just play through a, like two hand traps at least. And then I played a sm very sm I, I played a small Yugo package. I played one Lotus. Uh, this is like the worst normal sign in your deck, but it does the job. It gets people scared to just waste cards like Imperms, Droplets on this card because it does so much. Uh, I played two Spirits, uh, one Yubel, one Terror, and then two Squ Gray Squirmer. This is the standard lineup. I think it, I cited the Lotus out for going seconds. Because this is a bad normal summon to play into these cards, into like shifters, into um, and to like charmies and stuff like that. But they all they all dig well. Um, three of the broken field spell with a terra for me. So these cards, are just, this card is just literally insane. There's no problem with it. And I, and the last main chain I played today was double double pain. I think this was the perfect, it was correct. I had it at 44, but now it's at 45, but the second paint came up so much today. And the last day, they would play uh, Fiendsmith cards because these cards are just insane. So these cards are just generating so much advantage. Um, the next is Hand Traps. Uh, I only played uh, three Ash, three Emperor. So these cards are just broken and insane. And then last, uh, cards I played uh, two talents in the call bar. Um, I just needed something that breaks a board so I could kill for game with these cards because Unchained cards just don't like uh, staying back row. They don't like staying in the board too much. And call by is just call by is a sack you want to. Um, for the extra deck, I played two Yama. This card is busted. This card is just literally insane. I can't I can't explain how many times this card is. Just... Lo low key feels like it's just a splashable. Card just isn't just like a fiend bridge. It might have to get hit some uh, someday, someday. Hopefully not, but it's a good card. It's still a breaking card. Uh, I played the one rage because this card because it's your end board. Uh, I played uh, anguish. This can go up into your access code talker. This does this does a lot. For, this is how I won game so quickly because making uh, Yama adds you another card and then going to anguish and then breaking more boards for it. Um, I played mudcracker. Um, SP, so these cards are just good. Then I played uh, Feesmith cards. Uh, these are standard. Uh, also the Desiree. And then plus like the two fusions. This card is just really is good because you could just dump anything you want for your deck. So this is a free Foolish Barrow as a Rhino. And then 
uh, last is one Phantom and one uh, Caesar. I did. I didn't really need a second one. I think the second Yama came up more. So, but this card is just insane. There was like a play that I was able to um, pop my own rage and then add back and add back the Phantom, so that I'm able to just summon it again on my summon it again, which is crazy. And then lastly, the side deck. Um, the side deck was just here and there. I just didn't know what to put in. So I played three more trummies. This is just standard. I think this card should be is gonna be played no matter what. I played two nib. Um, I saw it once today. It, it was really good against a tier player. Uh, I played uh, three cosmics and the one duster. Uh, generic back raid and there was a lot of runic today, so that was so that was pretty good on my on my end. Um, for the spicy card today, I played double mistaken arrests. I did not draw it a single time. There was a bunch of times I sighted in a lot against temp eyes, against my rescuer's opponent. There, but I just did not was not able to see it. In theory, this card is really good against a lot of matchups. And uh, lastly, it's double droplet and then two judgments as the blowout card to stop board breakers. Well, congratulations! Good to see you playing this deck. Uh, you've been playing a lot of locals. These guys check it out on my channel during the locals grind. It's called the Fiend Smith Yabel Unchained deck, but going, moving forward, I'm going to be putting it just a uh, Fiend Link. Fiend Link, yeah. But congrats, and we'll see you at the next big event. Thank you. Yo, shout out to Solo Games.